Easily find, book, and manage your travel nursing assignments with the AMN Passport app. Download today. I feel like with forensic nursing, like being a nurse for 14 years, I've been doing forensic nursing for almost three years, and I finally feel like I found something that is so meaningful. Not Mm. that any other nursing that I did wasn't, but when it comes down to it, when I see these patients, I'm usually the first one of the first people to see them after this, probably the worst day of their life, um, being assaulted. And like I had said before, you know, living in a country where we continuously blame and shame these people who were just assaulted, sometimes I'll be the only person throughout this entire system throughout their community, throughout their friends or family who says, I believe you. And I'm so sorry that this person did this to you. And I need you to know that it wasn't your fault. And so just because somebody does, let's say it does go to court and they do get a conviction that doesn't take away the fact that all of this happened, mm-hmm. that they went through this really traumatic thing. And so sometimes being being able to be the only person who was supportive that did say those things to them, uh, whether it does get a conviction or not, can be the big difference between their healing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I mean... I can't imagine being in that in that position and like what a what a position for you to be in to be able to like be that support system for people immediately when they're still processing what's happening, you know, for yeah. or maybe you might be the person to I mean, sure, they called, but like you may you're that point of validation and like to help name like what is actually had just happened. Yeah. And I love being able to, uh, educate even the patients or if they do come with friends or family, because a lot of people, even healthcare workers don't have a full understanding of the neurobiology of trauma. And so there's really no right or wrong way for somebody to be reacting after any traumatic event. Mm. And so we get a lot of people who are like, oh, they must be lying because like, they don't look like they're traumatized by anything. They're just sitting there laughing or they're not crying. I would be crying if, if this Mm. happened to me, I would be freaking out if this happened to me, you know? And, and so I think what I hope most people learn even from this is that there is no right or wrong way. Like when we um, go through any traumatic event, there's literally a biological reason um, for the way that people act. So we have a ton of these hormones that get released within our body and they're, you know, catecholamines, their cortisol, which can cause us to have this fight or flight. And so we're just like, so freaked out and going, you know, all every which way there's a natural morphine in our body, opioid in our body that gets released. So some people can be really, really tired Mm -hmm. and just like, I don't want to talk about this. I just want to sleep. Some people don't even come Mm -hmm. in for a few days and you're like, well, where, where have you been? You know, like what some people will be like, why did it take you so long to come in and get an exam done? And yeah. it's like, cause they were literally exhausted. Right. And yeah. then there's, um, oxytocin, which is, you know, the body's way of trying to protect itself from this very traumatic thing. So mm-hmm. some people are like, you know, I, I feel okay. I don't know. Like, am I being dramatic about this? Is this mm-hmm. not something that's a big deal? And I feel okay. But then all of those hormones that do get released, what people don't realize is most damaging to the memory parts of the brain. So the Mm -hmm. hippocampus and the amygdala. And so they come in and they start, we start saying, what happened? Tell me exactly what happened in all these, this exact order. And then the police come and they talk to them. Tell me what happened in this exact order. Best Mm. recall after any traumatic event is actually three full sleep cycles because it's allowing the body to kind of reabsorb all of those hormones that are 
that have just been released. Right. And so sometimes people will start remembering better after mm-hmm. they've been able to rest. Okay. So now they're going back into the police station. They're saying, actually, I remember this happening and this happening and their story is changing. Yeah. And I use, I, I'm using bunny ears with that yeah. because it's not really it's changing. They're then. just remembering yeah. better. And so that's where a lot of, if you have police that aren't very educated on that, now they're flipping it and they're saying, I don't believe you. This, you know, you lied. You said this happened, but that didn't really happen. Did you just make that up? Mm, That's really So that's where we start getting into that victim blaming. 